Hello, my name is Brian Mills and I would like to welcome you back to the channel where not only do we talk about great stocks, but we also talk about great books. Listen, family, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I just reached 1000 subscribers. Listen, if you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm really, really appreciative of this. Now, when I really started this channel, I really wanted to add true value i really wanted to teach people about investing and so if you go back to my older channel older uh videos i talked about what is the stock market what is the 11 sectors of the stock market you know what is growth investing versus value investing you know i did a training on you know candlesticks and and how candlesticks um operate at the top of an uptrend at the bottom of a downtrend you know but a lot of times that type of stuff doesn't really get views. You have to talk about hot topics. You have to talk about hot topic stuff. So um, now I've reached the, the you know, 1,000 members. So hopefully I could continue adding more value to you instead of just talking about hot topic stuff. I really want to get back into the teaching aspect of of the stock market. All right? I really want to talk more about you know fundamental analysis and things of that nature. And, and hopefully... Um, I'll be able to get back into doing some of those things. All right. Now, after I got that out of the way, I want to talk about fuel sale. Now, I was high on fuel sale. I think I jumped in at uh, $3 a share and I rolled this thing up pretty nicely. But eventually I got stopped out and someone was asking me you know when is a good time to jump back in should i buy the dip should i buy the dip should i buy the dip and what i always say is let the technicals guide you in your decision making all right and so what i like to do i like to go to the chart and i like to get a big overview of how the stock is performing and the overall momentum of the stock and one of the ways I do that is by pulling up the weekly chart. All right. Now, if we take a look at the weekly chart, I have two indicators up. I have the 20 day moving average and I have the MACD. All right. So the 20 day moving average, each, um, um, you know, the, it averages out the, um, you know, the previous 20 trading days and forms a plot on the chart. All right. So right now here, I have the 20 day moving average. All right. So based on the chart here and based on the movement of fuel cell energy over the past uh, 20 trading periods. So I have the weekly chart. So based on the 20 past weekly candles, the average cost of fuel cell is 1223. All right. Now we've had a low of around three bucks and we've had a high of uh, 2944. All right. But the past three weeks, one, two, three. So each counter represents a week. The last three weeks we have been on a strong downtrend. All right. Now, when we go down to the bottom, what we have is the MACD indicator. And so the MACD measures the momentum coming into the stock and the momentum coming out of the stock. And so right now, what we see is this purple line here is the price oscillator. And so if we go back here, we see the price oscillator uh, crossing over, going up, right? And so that is an indication that there is momentum coming into the stock, all right? So it's been trending up nicely, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, February 8th, the week of February 8th, we can see that um, the oscillator is begin to, beginning to flatten out. The week of the 15th, we can see that it's beginning to um, 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 alter its, its direction. All right. So we're going to start trending downward here. And that week we have a red, um, a red column here. And each one of these columns represents, you know, momentum. And so here we have that week we have momentum leaving the stock. All right. The next week, we have more momentum leaving the stock, price dropping. The following week, we have even stronger momentum leaving the stock. All right. And so um, we, one can surmise based on the weekly candle that we are in a serious downtrend. And 
once the oscillator crosses over going down, we could expect more red weeks of head. Now, we may have some green days in between. So, you know, when you talk about a five day period, we may have a green Monday, a red Tuesday, red Wednesday, green Thursday, red Friday. But ultimately, at the end of the week, the price will be lower than what it started during the week. Or we may have a high, you know, of a certain price, but ultimately it will end lower. All right. That is what the weekly can that's that's what the weekly chart tells us. The weekly can the weekly candles and the weekly chart gives us a broad view of the true direction of this stock. All right, now let's take a look at the daily candle. So the daily candles. All right, again, the daily candles. Um, gives us a closer look into the movement of the price. And as we see, the price has been moving up beautifully. Um, you know, we've been touching the 20 day moving average and we'll move away. Then we snap back to the 20, we'll move away, come a little closer to the 20, then we move away, just strong upward movement. And so when we have strong upward movement like this, eventually, we must come back to the 20 day moving average. The 20 day mover, the 20 day moving average is like a rubber band. It always snaps back to the 20 day moving average. All right. So, um, so when we take a look at the MACD, we can see here that, um, the stock is starting to settle. The oscillator is beginning to change course and it's beginning to reverse in pattern. All right. So at the top of the, at the top of the trend, we see flattening out of the oscillator. It begins trending down. We have a crossover on the oscillator going down. We're losing momentum and the price begins to fall. All right. Now, when the when we do have the the, the crossover on the oscillator, that isn't always an indication that the price is going to drop drastically. We may have some sideways movement, but in the case of fuel cell, We've had strong momentum to the downside, strong momentum to the downside. And the technicals is telling us what, right? We had some bulls come back in here a few days, right? We have some green, some green bars here and the bulls came in. They tried to drive the price up um, prematurely, but the bears came back in and they drove the price down even further. All right. So one could surmise that. We may have a few red bars, but ultimately there is no reversal in sight. There is no reversal of this pattern in sight. So we can surmise that we will have more downward movement. All right. Now let's take another. So a lot of times when we have this type of movement so far past the 20 day moving average, we like to take a look at the. 200 day moving average. All right. And so when we take a look at the 200 day, I'm sorry, this is the 50. Let me, uh, let me put the 200 up for you guys here. Moving average. And so we can see that we're still a ways away from the 200 day moving average. So over the Previous 200 days, if you averaged out the trading sessions over the past 200 days, we averaged out to just over $7.05. Now, can it hit that? Absolutely, it can. Because one thing about the, the EV sector is the EV sector has been blowing up based on hype. All right. Based on um, the incumbent, the, the president coming in, his push for the Green New Deal. We don't know about how all of these companies will will pan out. You know, I've said this before. Eighty percent of the companies in this sector will fail. All right. Everybody can't get new business. Everybody can't get new contracts. Everyone can't generate positive cash flow, great returns, year over year growth. It isn't built that way. The market isn't built that way for everybody to win. So you're going to have some winners and you're going to have some losers. All right. And and so the the whole entire sector is actually just coming down to an area where it should be. All right. So this EV sector has been 
overinflated based on height. It has absolutely nothing to do with revenue. It has absolutely nothing to do with with um, uh, um, um, growth that has been established. This is all hype. So these companies will fall and many of them will fail. All right. But as of right now, fuel cell energy. I know people are saying buy the dips. Do not buy this dip because there are more green days ahead. All right. Now, I hope um, I added some value to you. I hope I gave you a little bit of understanding of how I see the charts. I like to take a bare bones, common sense approach um, to trading. I don't need 50 lines on a chart and, you know, seven or eight different indicators. You know, if you need to do that, Whatever you say is going to be right because you have 25 or 30 different indicators on your screen. If you say it's going to move up based on all the indicators that you have, and of course you're going to be right if it moves down and you have all of these indicators, of course you're going to be right. Me, I'm a common sense person and I've been doing it since 2006. I know one person who has made $5 million using one strategy, one strategy only. He only buys a stock when it's when the first green, the first green bar. Let me see here. And, and, and it's, it's genius. So you can see a stock here like fuel sale. All right. Riding along the 20 day moving average. He buy the first green bar above the 20 day moving average. And he said his stop losses. And so he's going to ride this thing all the way up. And then once it falls below the 20 day moving average, one red bar below the 20 day moving average, he sells. So I know a guy who, who, who's made $5 million doing that. All right. Personally, know a guy who made $5 million doing that. All right. So, but, but again, that's on a, that's a no, that's another whole story for you. I didn't really really want to go off on a tangent, but I just want to be able to add you a little bit of value to that. So again, if this is your first time checking me out, hit the like button. If this is your first time checking me out, please hit the subscribe button and keep coming back for more wealth building information. Peace.